Hey guys, so today is going to be a nail demo video and um, I'm going to be showing you how to recreate these nails. I don't know if you can see them there. Um, and it's basically a variation on the French polish. Um, and basically the difference is rather than using the natural sort of C curve of your nail, I've gone for more of a V shape. And you should already have the kit that you need. Um, obviously your French polish uh, nail varnishes, so your base pink and your white for the tips. And the only couple of extra things you might need are either a nail art sort of pen, like here. And this one will have a brush inside. And um, if you haven't got one of these, you could always use um, a coloured nail varnish that you like and then just use a really fine paintbrush. Um, and then the last thing that you'll need is your nail gems. Um, I've got mine in a little um, wheel here, so I've got lots of different colours, but um, you can get them in chemists or on the internet, so just have a little look. Um, but it's really, really simple and I love it, so hopefully you will. Okay, so we're going to be recreating this look here. Hopefully that's not too fuzzy. And it's just really simple to do, a just slight variation on the French polish. And with the colours I've used here, I've used a pink stripe and a, a you know a plain clear diamond. Um, you can choose whatever colours you want really. So it's again one of those ones, you can just put your creative twist on it. So I'm going to be doing these two nails here. Um, as you can see, the rest of my nails are all nice and long, but this one has broken off earlier in the week. And the good thing with this is that you can actually just take the white down slightly, so it almost fakes the, the look of a longer nail. Now the first one that I'm going to use is this colour here, which is an OPI one, and it's called Susie and the Lifeguard. I don't normally use this one for a French polish, but today I am, just to give it a slightly fuller base rather than the you know, a uh, more sheer one that you would normally use for a French. So I'm just going to paint that one on as my base colour. Again, avoid your cuticles if you can. You can always go up and tidy up around the edges, but the idea is that you're leaving a really small gap around the edge. And I'm only going to be doing one coat of this today, um, as I don't want the colour to build up too much. So there you go. So it's got ever such a slight shimmer to it, um, but again has the pink rosy colour for the French there. And I'm just going to give that a few seconds to dry off enough just to go on with the next one. And the next one I'm using again is OPI, and that is the Alpine Snow. Uh, this is a really good full crisp white, so gives a real definition for your French there. And the difference is with these, rather than doing like a round finish that you normally would do with your French. I'm actually making it more as a V and that just makes it, you know, almost gives the illusion of length as it's sort of lengthening up the nail there. So the idea is you're going to do it in two strokes. So we'll start with the nail we did first. Now this can be slightly messy. Even I, you know, need to go up and clear around the area at the edges after. But you're just literally taking it from the edge and just drawing across the nail. Now you can sometimes then obviously take a bit of the paint off. And the idea is then you know you would just wipe away these bits, ideally go along and do it after and not ruin the rest of your nails like I'm probably about to. So there you have that nice V shape there. Um, once you've tidied up it won't look so much like the there's gaps on the edges but obviously that's just there from where I need to tidy and then we're going to do the same on here now I wouldn't take this one down too deep otherwise you'll end up with a real stubby looking finger which is probably not a good look and the same on the other side but again just creating that crossover there so once we've taken these away it doesn't look too bad it's not ideal but you know, gives the look we need to give. So there we go, you have your two there, there. So I'm just going to tidy those up and then once I've done that they should be dry enough for the next part. 
Okay, so I've just tidied up the edges there just to save some time. I haven't shown you that bit. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add on like the little stripe that goes inside the V. And to do that, I'm just using this pink um, nail art, like paint pot. And I'm using the brush part, which is on the inside. And just loading the brush out, not with too much, but literally taking then a stripe from the very edge through to the middle. And with this, if you overlap the white ever so slightly, that doesn't matter. It kind of just adds to it. And then from the other side, I'm going to do the same. So I'm not sure if you can see that there. So it just adds a little bit more definition. Um, and with these, you know, if you're going to be wearing a different coloured outfit, you know, turquoise or any colour, you can use whatever colour you like for the stripe. Um, I've just chosen pink because I'm pretty much obsessed with anything pink really. And then just do the same on all the nails. So there you go. So both of those are now got their pink on. And then the final touch to this is to add your nail gems. And I'm just using a clear one. Um, again, you can choose the coloured, you know, varieties of um, nail art pe uh, gems. Again, to go with whatever the look you want to go for. You know, with the stripe, you could have done like a sparkly silver, in which case the, you know, the clear gems will look really good. Or you can, you know, match the gem to the colour you use, whatever. So there is a huge variety you can use. Now, to make my gems stick, what I tend to do is just use a really tiny dot of my top coat and just pop it into the place of where I'm going to put the gem and then using my dabber tool which is just this one here dab a little bit onto the end of that just so it's got something to stick and then as you can see I've got my gems in a little wheel here just going to pick up one and literally just place it in simple as that let's do the same on the other one and there you go that is your gems and your nail art done so just literally give them a few seconds just to dry off um, and then you're going to want to put your top coat on just to seal it all in and give it all a nice shine and again my base coat and top coats that I use are OPI, the OPR Nail Envy, and the top coat that I'm actually using is the start to finish, um, which you can use as a base coat, but I like this one. It seems to last quite well and keep the nail varnish in place. So, I didn't load my brush up as much then. So, just literally pop your top coat over. As you can see, it's nice and glossy there. And that basically finishes your look. So that is how you create this French polish look. Okay, so that's your nail demo done. Um, I think it's so simple to do, so um, give it a go. You know, do it for the weekend, change the colours, you know, put your creative spin on it. And, um, you know, it really is such a simple design that it will go with any outfit for any occasion. So um, just give it a go. Uh, if you do, please send me photos. I'd love to see what you do or how you make it different or your interpretation. And um, any questions, just let me know. Send me a message on here or, um, you know, give me a shout on um, Facebook or Twitter. And, um... That's it really. I hope you all have a great weekend and I shall see you soon. Bye.